Hey Tom Sox fans, I'm Destiny Sanchez alongside infielder Kyle Edwards from Old Dominion. Thanks for joining me today. So you've been with the Tom Sox since the beginning of the season. How has your experience been with the Tom Sox so far? It's been great. You know, I've loved every minute of it, meeting new guys and just for my first first collegiate summer ball, it's, it's been great and I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better summer ball. For sure, you've had a great season so far. And, you know, you're from Chesapeake, Virginia. You have kind of stay in Virginia, too, because Old Dominion's in Norfolk. Now you're in Charlottesville. Can you talk to me a little bit about the contrast between the three towns? Um, so, back at home, it's it's kind of more of a beachy area, and there's a, it's, it's very populated, and uh, there's something going on nonstop. You know, here it's a little bit more chill, and there's more mountains and a little bit more adventure stuff to do. and Honestly, it's like, it's great being in both cities because I thought this place was like going to be the same as home, but it's really not. Do you have a favorite of the three? Yeah, definitely home. Yeah, home is always the best place. Um, so bringing it back a little bit, if your start with baseball, has it always been baseball? Have you played other sports and have you always played shortstop or have you done other positions? Talk to me a little bit about your start with baseball. Um, baseball has always been kind of the thing, but I Back in like middle school and high school and when I was younger, I played football, basketball. It's kind of like a three-sport athlete. Then I gave up on football, started just playing basketball and baseball throughout high school. Um, and yeah, shortstop's kind of always been my thing, but you know, I can play anywhere in the infield if I, if I have to, so. For sure, very versatile. Um, so there's been a long lineage of Old Dominion players to play with the Tom Sox, a few in 2017 and 2018, and quite a few of them in the pros, and you're the next one from Old Dominion. Talk to me what that feels like for you and, you know, to play, have that lineage from your alma mater. Talk to me a little bit about being an Old Dominion player on the Tom Sox. Uh, being an Old Dominion player is definitely special, especially because uh, Vinny Pasquantino just made it to the bigs uh, last night. And he actually took me on my visit when I was there. And he's a great person, great ball player. Um, I look up to him. He, he kind of, in my eyes, it's like he, he set the path for the Old Dominion boys. And there's a lot of other people that set the path. but. You know, he, he's great, and that's just a great school to come from. Awesome. It's great to continue that pipeline this year. So, um, talk. you've already had a very successful season so far. You're in the top four for a batting average. What are your goals for the rest of the season with the Tom Sox? You're one month in, have about a month left. So, talk to me about the goals for the rest of the season for you. Uh, the goals are definitely to keep climbing. You know, I always want to be the best at what I do, but I also want to win, too. So, like... It's like kind of, I'm trying to win, but I'm also trying to play good. And, you know, I'm trying to really prove um, to my coaches and some of my teammates and everybody that, you know, I'm a really good player. I struggled this year in, in school ball. You know, I didn't have the best season at the plate, but um, I've changed a lot of things and I feel a lot better. I'm sure you're going to achieve that and a lot more with the rest of the season. Kyle, thank you so much for chatting with me.